18. Question 18 says, work, choice A is, is always positive. B can be positive or negative. C says can be positive, negative, or zero. So is it possible for a force to drag something and do negative work? Is it possible for a force to drag something and do an, uh, zero work? Or is it always positive? Well, uh, here are the different scenarios. Uh, if an object is moving this way, right? Let's say the object is already moving this way, and you exert a force this way. So if you exert a force along the direction that the object is moving, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to do positive work. The object is going to end up moving forward, right? The distance. Uh, and the work is equal to force times distance times cosine of the angle between force and distance, right? So uh, in this case, you would end up doing positive work. Even if you exert the force at a certain angle from the displacement, right? So suppose the displacement is forward, you exerted a force at an angle, you would still do positive work. Okay, how about if you exert the force uh, vertically up, what would happen? So imagine something is sliding, right? And then I exert a force vertically up. Am I doing any work? The answer is no, the work is zero. Work is zero when the force is perpendicular to the displacement. Right? Why? Because cosine of 90 is what? Cosine of 90 degrees is zero. Right? What kind of uh, force in nature never does work? Okay? Well, it's actually the normal force, right? If a, if a block is a sliding on a flat surface, the normal force is actually up, right? So the only thing the normal force does is basically hold the block up, support the block. It doesn't push it forward, it doesn't slow it down. So the normal force does no work, okay? How about if I exert the force this way and the block is moving forward, okay? Then the angle is obtuse, right? The angle is obtuse. Cosine of an obtuse angle is what? 90 degree. Uh, cosine of obtuse angle is a negative, right? So uh, anytime I exert the force this way or even this way, uh, it's uh, going to be uh, negative, right? Cosine of this uh, angle, 120 degrees or 150 degrees or whatever. So what's going to happen to the object if I exert the force back? The object is going to slow down, okay? Eventually, it's going to come to rest. So what's, uh, how much work am I doing? The work I'm doing is equal to uh, F D cosine of theta. If the angle is greater than 90, less than 180, or it could even equal 180, right? If the angle is exactly opposite, then uh, the work that I'm going to do is negative, less than zero. So therefore, uh, work can be positive, negative, or zero, all three of these. What kind of uh, force is there that usually does negative work? F friction force, right? Friction force. Friction usually eats away from the energy of the system. And the work done by friction appears as heat in the system, right? So the friction force is always opposed to the direction of motion. It's equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And therefore, the work done by friction is equal to negative. And the angle of the friction is going to be actually 180. It's going to be exactly opposed to the direction of the motion. Okay? Thank you.